Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 14th, 2019. So, hey everyone, it looks like we've got a little bearish action coming in today. Shouldn't be a big surprise to anyone that's been listening uh, to these videos because I've been suggesting the possibility of a rest or pullback for the last uh, couple of days, a couple of trading days for sure. And even though the media is really trying to, uh, you know, US media, by the way, is really trying to focus this and say this is all because of the government shutdown. Fact of the matter is this started early on in the evening, it started because China issued a trade um, surplus economic number um, that is a record high, a record high trade surplus number between the US and China. Um, so that really started the ball rolling. And yes, we are entering our 24th day, the longest shutdown in federal government history. Certainly a concern for the market, but there's multiple aspects going on here, not just one thing uh, that the media is trying to point to uh, creating the problem. The other thing that they're kind of failing to talk about is the fact that the Dow rallied so sharply in such a, such a short period of time, putting us into an overextended condition here in the market. Now, certainly one of the reasons that is the case is because the FOMC has kind of stepped back and taking taking a more a, a wait and see approach on interest rate rises. That's one of the reasons we've had such a major lift. Also, you know, the negotiations between US and China on the trade war show, starting to show some improvement, but um, obviously we still have not seen an agreement out of that. And I would assume that um, this economic number doesn't help that process as, as, as we go forward. But um, let's just kind of keep in mind that we were really overextended anyway. And that a little pullback, a little rest is really needed to um, continue to maintain a healthy look to this rally. You know, rallies that move just straight up or straight or, or moves, I should say, Mark Market moves that are straight up or straight down are typically not a healthy uh, move in price action. Back and forth price action is normal. Consolidations is normal. And that's what the market needs a little bit of. It needs a little bit of normal. So a little pullback in here, as long as it holds, and I'm going to place this number right here about uh, 233 here in the Dow. As long as the Dow can hold above around 233, we're probably in pretty good shape. Of course, we don't want to see that dropping much further than that. If it were to drop much further than that, then that would throw into question the possibility of a retest of the lows. No one wants to see that happen. And I honestly think with uh, the FOMC um, being more that wait and see FOMC, I think it's unlikely that we will retest all the way back down there. Um, that's one of the uh, one of the issues that pushed us down there to begin with. So let's just um, let's not panic this morning. Um, the sky is not falling. Um, as a matter of fact, I think this is something that was very necessary and needed just to restore the price action here. Give us a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of a rest. And please keep in mind, if we were to catch this pullback in here, as long as that holds above these levels in here, if we could even if we pull all the way back down to there, you can see that that would actually set up the possibility. And, and, and by the way, I drew this line up here. I don't know where this line needs to be just yet. Um, so I, actually what I should do is just remove that. Um, 
what I will say is any rest or pullback in here that holds above price support would be a healthy thing and actually set up an opportunity where we could attack that downtrend line here in the Dow and also attack the 50-day moving average, um, try to break up through there. So any rest or pullback gives us that opportunity for that better trade. So something we, whoops, I'm sorry, I had that on a two-day chart something that would be very very important to see so um on on this daily chart had i not had accidentally had that on a two-day you can see that just this little bit of rest just this little bit of pull back into here could actually um, really reinforce this uptrend and actually improve the look of our charts and give us an opportunity to do a little bit better um, in in um, bringing in those bulls instead of being so overextended here let's take a look at the spy spy very much the same thing spy has been locked in this little range right here as you can see price resistance range and locked underneath this uh 50 um, exponential moving average or 50 e uh, simple moving average um locked right in there on that 34 exponential moving average and this pullback really doesn't hurt us all that much in this chart what we don't want to see is we don't want to see a failure in this chart back down below about 250. I think if we drop below about 250, we're gonna run into some problems here on our chart and could really create um, some negative feelings here. So as long as we can hold on above that, I think we're gonna be okay um, for that opportunity to move on up attack that downtrend attack that 50-day moving average so not all is lost here for sure if we take a look at the cues the cues um really oh, i mean such a good position here for the cues um breaking above this downtrend line and if we take a look at our moving averages very very close to that 50-day moving average where a pullback just really should have been expected to begin with and uh, barring the news and any kind of a rest or pullback that holds us above about this 155 area you know right through here we show this price support anything that holds us above that can uh, provide us with that great opportunity for long entries here on the trade. So kind of keep that in mind. Old IWM, IWM moved up really nicely the last week or so. Um, breaking above its downtrend line and you can see also right there tucked against that 50-day moving average where a pullback should be expected um, uh, shouldn't be a big surprise anyway in if that were to occur so as long as IWM um, I think can hold up um, above this level right here I think we're in good shape on IWM a little rest a little pullback gives us an opportunity for more upside so keep an eye on that let's take a quick look at the VIX now the VIX is likely going to um, sharply move up this morning on this 200 point gap down we'll have to kind of keep an eye on it and that really um, not a major issue uh, because that is uh, right here at a potential support area where we could rally back. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see fear rising up through this level. That could really create some problems for us. But a bounce up here and then pull back just creates that downtrend that we want to see pushing us back down into this level. So I don't think there's really reason for tremendous panic here this morning. Um, so if I can help you step back from the cliff edge, um, that's what I want to do because I I think this should be, um, uh, well, just one of those things that we um, should have expected um, after such a strong rally. Let's take a look at T21. 
which is that four week new high, new low ratio. And this is one of the things I've been talking about for a while, is that we're very, very extended up here. We're approaching that 100 level. And you, if you look back, it's been a long time, even through 2017, we didn't reach that high in uh, this indicator. So a rest or a pullback should have been expected. And that doesn't mean that we have to just precipitously sell off. It could mean a, a pullback, a little bit of a consolidation, a little rest in the market. And that's all I, I expect at the moment. Um, certainly the political uncertainty can create any kind of an emotional move. And we have to be watchful for that. We have to pay attention to that, stay very, very focused to that price action because anything could happen. But as long as um, T2122 is up here in this, in this very overbought condition, we should have expected a pullback and a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation um, is not a surprise um, and obviously not out of the question here. Let's take a look um, here really quick at the whoops, at the um, economic calendar. If we take a look at the economic calendar, not much going on today. We have a couple of bill auctions, uh, or excuse me, um, yeah, bill auctions going off this morning, and really not much of anything else to worry about. We have a pretty big week of some big, heavy economic numbers. So we'll want to um, be watchful of that uh, later on this week. But today, kind of a light on that. And today, um, we are basically kicking off, officially kicking off the uh, 2019 earning season with a Citibank reporting. Citibank will be reporting this morning. Um, haven't seen that report come out yet, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. We also have um, earnings reports from LL, uh, 3L, I should say. Um, 3L um, should report this morning. I don't see if that report has come out, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. So uh, there are a few things starting to pay that we need to pay attention to. Keep in mind, JP Morgan's reporting tomorrow. So we're starting to kick into that, that uh, January earnings season. Also keep in mind that the January earnings season usually tends to drag out much longer than um, second, third, and fourth quarter earnings season. It, it, it kind of drags out over a period of time. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're checking those earnings reports, keeping those dates um, very handy when a company is expected to report so that you can stay on top of um, that information and uh, protect yourself uh, by not jumping into a trade just before an earnings report if that's not something you were expecting to occur. Let's um, take a look at a few charts now. There, there are quite a few really good potential setups um, in, in the market. And I've shown a lot of these charts here just recently. Um, I actually have a tremendous amount of alerts on my charts right now and really good price setup. So I'm going to quickly um, bring up my alert console. You can see I've got tons and tons of alerts. I'll move this out of the way. And then let's just take a look at some of these uh, charts. If we take a look at MU, MU has been in this massively long downtrend right at the point where we could get that failure but also at that point where this could break above that 50-day moving average and start moving higher, great opportunity. There's there's tons and tons of these kind of charts showing up. Um, Home Depot would happen to be one, breaking above that 50-day moving average, a little rest, consolidating pullback in here could set up a very nice opportunity for a long trade to start moving us higher. You've seen me talk about JD, JD really nice trade setup going on here. Currently, my alert is right here, but I will move that down as, as necessary. What 
I want to see is just this nice resting pullback back toward the trend and then that opportunity for another entry into uh, JD. So really, really beautiful uh, chart pattern setting up here um, and really all over the market in lots of different sectors um, showing up. So you don't even have to work very hard to uh, to find uh, this round of bottom breakout setup. Um, uh, Win Win actually set up a beautiful buy signal on uh, Friday. Now that's going to be pulling back this morning with this uh, market gap down. But we want to watch this in here. Any pullback that keeps that keeps that stock um, into this trend pulling back into this level and then watching for that entry signal for that next move higher when lvs um, sgms um, all looking very productive here in charts so there's just more charts than you can shake a stick at right now that are in a really really good condition take a look at shots uh, Schwab after this massively long downtrend trying to break back above that 50-day moving average and show some signs here so um, all over the place we're seeing these uh, these charts and um, good signs um, for potential rallies so as long as they can hold support levels um, we're, we're looking pretty good um, in some setups here uh, for entering those early um, upward trends uh, for the market. So keep an eye on those pretty closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I truly appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for those who take the time to do that. And also, I want to say, just remember, you can feel free to share this video with any friends and family. I do this free. Um, I don't intend to ever make money from these videos. The, the purpose of these videos is to help everyone do a little bit better job with their morning preparation and be ready for the trading day and what uh, what they can look for and expect um, in the market. So with that, I hope you find these videos helpful. Everyone take care of yourself. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning, and we'll talk to you all very soon. Have a great day. Thank you.